teaching his truth. And guess what? They're waxing worse and worse. Okay? And what does seduce that mean? To seduce, that means you're alluring someone. You're trying to trap them up. And it's forever. When you go into the word seduce, it goes into allure, enchantment. So now you've got men that have what? Seducing spirits on them. Which is what? Another form of what? Witchcraft. Enchantment. And you know what the scriptures say about a witch? I suffer not a witch to live. Really, a witch is supposed to be what? Burnt on a stake. Okay? But we can't do that right now. Because <laughs> if we were to do that, we'd be persecuted. Okay? But really, that's the judgment. Okay? So again, the scripture says that evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. And it's being seen. Our opposition are waxing worse and worse. Every single day. Okay? And it's interesting to see. Okay? It may have been men you looked up to. It may be still men you may look up to. But guess what? An, old, an evil spirit has overcame them. Okay? But you still might look up to them. But if he jumps off a cliff, are you going to jump off a cliff? Are you going to do that? Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to use wisdom. You have to use wisdom. Okay? Deceiving and being deceived. So those that are doing deceiving, they're going to be deceived in their own mind. That's how you have a shy work. Never came into the truth with the intent of deceiving. So when you go around deceiving, what does Yahushai do? He ends up deceiving you. You. Okay. Very simple. Okay. That's why the fear of the Lord Yahushai is the beginning of wisdom. So, guess what? If you don't have wisdom, if you don't have the fear of the Lord, then guess what? You don't have wisdom. Simple. If you don't have the fear of the Lord, then you don't have wisdom. And another, and another thing, what, this whole mask on your face. A mask ain't going to stop you from catching the virus. You see how simple people are? A mask ain't stop you from catching no virus. That's easy, he's programmed the people. Okay? That's the people thinking, yeah, put a mask on your face. A mask ain't going to stop you from catching the virus. Come on, you people better wake up and smell the coffee. What's that to eat? Hello? Is that to eat? Or is it just weeds? You see how rude people are? You know, I just ask her nicely, is it to eat? It is what it is. It is. And then we just look, but continuing the things which I have learned. And who did we learn this truth from? Our apostles of Great Millstone. Okay, we don't, we don't, we don't, um, we don't accept the ideologies of Scientology, okay, and all these new age movements, that's a seducing spirit, we don't accept that, okay, new age philosophies, that's a seducing spirit, so you've got men that will come to the truth and they start teaching some other doctrine, and obviously sometimes we speak out of, um, sometimes we speak out of terms as in, we may say, we may, you may break down the scripture wrong, but you break down the scripture wrong, it's for us to um, correct it. I say, Salakia, you know what, I got that wrong, Salakia. And we correct it. Okay? That's our duty. Okay? But every scripture, you're just butchering the scriptures, making something up. No, that's off. Okay? See what else we got. And has been assured of them knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So who did we learn this word of? Our elder apostles, our great millstone. That's who we learned this word of. Okay? So this is continue. Continue in the doctrine. Don't stop. Okay? Don't stop continuing this doctrine that you have taught. Okay? From a child, okay, from a child, because we learned this truth when we were young, okay. Most of us, we didn't learn this when we were old, okay. 
Because you're more e you could be easily taught when you're younger. When you get older, it's harder. Teaching, you're just you're setting, you're setting your ways. Okay? And it says, from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make me wise unto salvation. So what we know, excuse me, is able to make us what? Wise unto salvation. So what we know is going to make you wise. That's it, if you have understanding. If you have, has given you that understanding. Unto salvation. Okay. Not to say, oh, look what I know. I've got some book knowledge. I know something you don't know. No, because the Lord will just cast you out. Because men, they come in that spirit. I know this precept, but are you applying? If you're not applying, then guess what? It doesn't mean anything. If you're not applying these words. In your everyday life. Every day. So again. When you go into... Where's this pop up? So again. You know when you go into conduct. What's your conduct? Your conduct is what? In the scriptures. How you communicate in the scriptures with people. How you deal with people. Even when the camera's off. How are you dealing with people? Huh? That's your conduct. Okay? Nobody's got... Well, when it comes to me doing particular things in the world, as in going into the shops, doing this, doing that, traveling, nobody's really got anything bad to say because I'm just minding my own business. So if you're minding your own business, who's got anything bad to say? Unless you're a lover of the world, you care about what the world thinks, because you're of the world and therefore you're going to be destroyed. Okay? And it says, where was we? All scripture is given by inspiration. So again, the scripture is given by inspiration. And what are we inspired by? The Holy Spirit. Because without the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, we cannot do this truth. We cannot push this truth. Okay? And it says, by inspiration. So you've got to be inspired to teach his words. You have to be truly inspired. Because if I wasn't inspired, I wouldn't be able to teach his words. Okay? And it's the Holy Spirit that inspires you. Well, guess what? Some men are inspired by the, uh, the left-hand side, the spiritual demon Satan. But the men of the Lord, they're inspired by what is truth. Okay? And it says, all scripture is given by inspiration. Okay? Of the most high and it's profitable. So this word is profitable. It's able to make you wise. And the scriptures say, teach those that are able to what? Teach others. So when we learn this truth, we also want to be able to what? To teach others. Okay? Profitable. But this truth is only going to be profitable. Okay? To those that believe. This is not profitable to all our people. It's not profitable to someone that's lukewarm. That's lackadaisical. That's wish-washy. I and you women need to cover the hell up, man. Put some clothes on. Wear a dress or something. Fuck off here, that's good. That's patting him because she knows it's the truth. You can't handle the truth. Okay? Put some damn clothes on. How it is, it's, it's sunny, it's a sunny, warm day. It's like a little bit chilly. How it is, I'm covered up, you know, but these women are not covered up. How does that work? I thought it was supposed to be equal rights. So if you really wanted equal rights, then. Shouldn't, be, shouldn't it be equal as in terms of you have to follow that same standard? So, again, that whole feminism bullcrap, that, that's a load of lies. Because when push up, when push up comes to shove, there ain't gonna be no feminists. You're gonna quickly put on that dress. When all hell breaks loose, 
You women are going to quickly put on that dress when all hell breaks loose, okay? You're, you ain't going to be uh, running to the what? The hair salon, okay? And she knows that's why she's smiling like that, okay? When all hell breaks loose, okay? You women ain't going to be able to go to the, to the nail salon, okay? You women ain't going to be able to go to the bars, you restaurants, have a good time. Okay, you're going to be seeking for a man to protect you. And that's going to be a man of the Lord who has the Holy Spirit upon him. Okay? You understand? Because these women are very comfortable as well. Very comfortable. You can see. You can see. Oh, man. That time that's about to come. I'm telling you, man. That time that's about to come. So where was we? Where was we? Where was we? And for reproof, so yeah, we will prove our people, but a wicked man does not want to accept the proof. Okay? And for correction and for instruction in righteousness. So again, all these things are for the betterment. And guess what? The hopeful elect, they're going to be chastised. And if you're not if you're not being chastised, they're gonna be looking at it like, well hold on a minute, well, well I never went through that, you know, well, how comes that? Because well, maybe because you're being a nigger, that's why. Okay. You're not walking the path of your shy. So if you're not walking the path of your shy, it's gonna say, okay then, I'm just gonna let you um partake in the world, let you have fun and be destroyed. So again, be spiritual. Because you may be looking at you may look at a person and say, what? Hold on, why is he getting jacked up? Why is he getting jacked up like that? Well. The reason why you're getting jacked up is because of your transgressions. But again, that's to what? To purge you? As we read when we started off on the truth. I purged the, 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 the branch so it may bring forth me. Okay? So all this is what? To purge us. But it's only going to be purging the elect so they can bring forth fruit. That's what it's for. Okay? Where else was we? Okay, so it says for reproof, for correction. Don't you want to be corrected? Because the scripture says a, a, a child that is left to himself will be willful. So again, even with me, even though I'm teaching out here by myself, I'm still watching that I'm still watching particular men that are over me. So I'm still seeking counsel. So just because I'm by myself, I'm not willful because I have counselors. I have wise men that know how to counsel. Okay? Because the scripture says, ain't no way you could be in this truth, but you don't have counsellors. Even in war, you need, you need counsellors. Look up on um, Putin. Putin has a counsellor. All these nations have counsellors. On particular affairs. Why do you think you have something called ambassadors, representatives, different form of... You need those. Even a king. But who was a counsellor to the kings? The priests, the prophets. So the highest level of counsel is from the prophets. You do know David had counselors. Melchizedek, what, you think he was just a priest? The priests were the counselors. Why do you think Dave, King David paid a tenth of, 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 of his offerings to Melchizedek? The priests, these were not just anybody, these were important people. Oh, they're just priests. No, they were holy men. Okay, Nathan. These were holy men. Daniel. These were holy men. Okay. So correction is for brothers betterments. Okay. So bear me just a minute. Correction is all a part of this truth. Okay. Oh, see here it is. This is um Proverbs 15. Okay, Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous. Okay. So correction is grievous, harmful. Okay. And to him that forsaketh the way. So once you forsake the ways of Yahweh Shire, 
guess what? Of course, correction's gonna be grievous unto you. Because you've forsaken the way of the other shy. Okay? So, of course, correction's gonna be grievous unto you. But correction is not grievous unto those that are in Yahweh Shai. Okay? And it says, And he that hateth reproof shall die. So guess what? If you get sick and tired of having reproof, you're going to end up dying. That's going to be your demise. Okay? You better get used to it. Okay? Reproof comes in many ways. Many, many, many ways. It, doesn't, it ain't just when you're at camp, no. The proof is when you're watching these videos. Ah, oh, man, I feel cut by that. What can I do to improve? That's, again, accepting the proof. And this society, it teaches you not to take correction. Okay? Not to um, accept responsibility. Okay? But when you read the Bible, it tells you how you've got to be responsible. Okay? That's what the Bible teaches you. Okay? Being responsible. Taking responsibility for your own actions and your own decisions. Okay? There was a lesson, Elder, uh, what's his name? Elder Aviala from Dallas. He talked about that. Every decision you make, Yahweh Shai gives you the wisdom. Now you have the wisdom. Now he would give you that. You have the wisdom. Now it's for you to make these particular decisions. And a lot of decisions, some of them are going to be difficult. But there's particular decisions as men, because men, another thing with a man, he's, he has to make decisions. He has to make decisions, hard decisions. Okay? Okay? And the decisions are not just made overnight. Some decisions take time to make, some. Again, that's why there's counselors. Okay? But again, this truth is about what accepting rebuke. Okay? But if you don't accept it, you're gonna die. Okay? Hell and destruction are before the Lord Yahweh Shai. In other words, for death. Okay? Are before the Lord Yahweh Shai. Because he creates these things. He forms these things. Right? How much more the hearts, the minds, okay, of the children of men? So how much more the people that dwell upon the earth? Okay. And it says, a scorner loveth not one that reproveth him. Okay. If you're a scorner, you're not gonna you're not gonna like those that reprove you. No, I don't like that. Now let me flee. Scripture says the wicked flee where no man pursue it. Okay? But again, you being a man and a man of the Lord, you're gonna accept the truth and correction. That's how you grow. How can you talk about martial arts, boxing, and even being in any type of competitive sport, but you don't take the truth? You're not gonna last that long. Okay? And that's why um What's his name? That's why Chris Eubank was um, parted. Chris Eubank Jr. Why? Because he didn't want to listen to what his trainer had to say. Maybe if he did, he could have won some of them fights. Okay? So again, we take advice of those that are able to teach others. Those that are walking that walk. That's what you take advice of. You don't just take advice of anybody. Okay? Neither will he go unto the wise. Our people, they don't really, they want to get the knowledge, but they don't really want to um, have the, under, they don't really, um, they don't really want to go through it. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. A lot of guys, they want to get the knowledge, but they don't want to have to go through the things. They don't want to have to go through the trials. That's what makes you a faker. A lot, of men, a lot of men want to train, but they don't want to get in the ring. A lot of men want to train, but they don't want to get in the ring. They're too scared of getting knocked out or knocked down. One foot in the ring or you step out. 
That means you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. Scriptures say that. No man that is um, fit for the kingdom. Bear me just a minute, I'm paraphrasing. No man is fit for the kingdom. What? To look it back. If he look it back, he put his hand to the plow and look it back. You're not fit for the kingdom. Okay. You're not fit. But guess what? Some men, some men, they ain't even put their foot. They ain't even set one foot. Some men have set their foot in and no, 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 that's too hot for me. No. You gotta be willing to go through that chastisement. Okay. And it says, verse 13, a merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance. This is what makes us cheerful. A merry heart, a merry mind. This is what makes us cheerful. Okay? The merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance. So how are we merry? We're merry for this truth. This is make, what makes us happy. Okay? A merry heart making for cheerful countenance. And there ain't too much to be happy out about here. You know? When you look at these people, most of them are depressed, strung out on drugs. You know? Drinking Guinness to Guinness. Okay? And it says, A merry heart making for cheerful countenance. But by sorrow, the heart and the spirit is broken. That's why it's always good to be, have a good mind towards Yahweh Shai. There's things that get us down, but again, that's why we balance out things. So when you're feeling like that, you got to, that's where you, you got to find that balance. Because when you're reading the scriptures, we're reading about mass death, calamities, the people that you're seeing around you, they're going to die. People that you knew, your loved ones. So of course, even that, that can get you down. But at the same time, you need to balance it out with the whole. Okay? Everything is balanced. Okay, and it says But by so of the hearts Okay, the spirit is broken so Again, if man's pushing an unfaithful spirit That's going to make your heart sorrowful And that's going to break your spirit So it's important When we're doing these videos Make sure you're exerting faith Even when you're, even when you're doing that Prophecy. At the end of it, make sure you're exalting faith. Okay? Because we know a lot of things are going to happen, but that's the main thing. That look, the elect are going to be alright, the elect are going to be alright, the elect are going to be alright. So th that's you got to be careful what spirit you're putting forth. Because every video, you're, just, you're doing videos, every video you do, you're like this, you're walking around all, all, all timid, you know, like, like a hermit. You know, get out of that spirit, man. Ain't the time to be in that spirit. You're all, you're all scared. The Lord, the scripture says the Lord is not giving us a spirit of fear. How is it you got the words of life, but you're not, but you're not walking in that manner? Okay. I heard someone say, walk with a bit of class. Yeah, you gotta walk with a bit of class, man. Keep your head up. I'm not saying it in a proud way. How is it you're the prince of power, but you're walking about? Oh no! See, the scriptures are supposed to change your mind. How your mind is. How you think. How you eat. So even, even the food we eat, that even improves. You know you may have been eating junk food in the world. Even your diet changes. A prince of power, he's going to be eating better. His diet's going to be better. Now you're eating broccoli. Sometimes you may have a bit of um, biscuits here and there. But you understand what I'm saying? This is a lifestyle. It's not a fad. Man, I'm gonna have to shut off soon. A couple more scripts and I'll shut off. This is a lifestyle. This is our culture. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? This is our culture and every nation has a culture. But guess whose culture dominates? This culture, I'm not talking about black culture. Because black, black culture, you just you, you step. This is our true culture. Okay, the scriptures. That's our true culture. Okay? The Holy Bible. So everything that's written, all the laws, 
the laws of our culture also. Okay, and Jesus is Negro no Blanco. Okay. This is our true culture. It's about living it. Because when we're in the world, what, what culture is it? Black culture, who gave that to you? Esau. Okay. So bear me just a minute. Couple more scriptures and we shut off. Bear me just a minute, bear me just a minute. See what we can find. See, see what we can find to shut off on a good note. Bear me just a minute. Yeah, beautiful. We're going to shut off on this. Okay. Let's start off on um, Isaiah 32. Okay. Isaiah 32 and 17. And it says, And the work of the righteous shall be peace. Okay. And this is the work of the righteous labor of love which men scoff at doing the work okay and it says the work of righteousness shall be peace this is going to bring us peace and this is peace and it's going to bring us everlasting peace in the kingdom and the effect of righteousness quietness and the assurance forever that confidence forever this is what doing this work is going to bring us okay and my people shall dwell in peaceable habitation. Okay? And in sure dwellings, which is what the land of Israel. That's going to be them sure dwellings. Okay? And in quiet resting places. That's the kingdom. Nobody's going to trouble us. We're going to be at peace. Read uh, Revelation 21. And read Isaiah 64, 65. When it says there shall be no more pain. I create a new world. That's what there's going to be. Okay. Everything's going to be renewed. The food. The food's going to be non-GMO food. Everything's going to be flush, flourishing. Okay. You're going to have nations within our own nation. So you're going to have children. And your children, they're going to have their own nation. This is how much we're going to multiply. This is the blessings. That's why you've got to read Deuteronomy 28. Read Jude 28. Read Jude 28 and 15. About the blessings and the cursings. The blessings that we're reading, they're the things that we're going to receive. Okay? Ah, oh, it's a beautiful thing. Okay? So with this, I'm going to shut off there. And until the next time, shut up one. And brothers, keep pushing, man. Keep fighting. Okay? Until the next time, shut up one.